We're talking about chimps, we're talking about violence. My now friend, Mr. Joe Rogan, is a big fan of those things. I'm a big fan of these topics. I think a lot of people are fascinated by these topics. So as you're saying, why do we find the exploration of violence and the relations between chimps so interesting? What can they teach us about ourselves? Until we had this information about chimpanzees, it was possible to believe that uh, the psychology behind warfare was totally the result of some kind of um, cultural, recent cultural innovation right. that had nothing to do with our biology. Or if you like, that it's got something to do with um, uh, sin and, and right. God and the devil and that sort of thing. But what the chimps tell us after we think carefully about it, is that it seems undoubtedly the case that our evolutionary psychology has given us the same kind of attitude towards violence as, as occurred in chimpanzees and in both species. Uh, it has evolved because of its uh, evolutionary significance. In other words, because it's been uh, helpful to the individuals who have practiced it. And uh, now we know that, uh, as I mentioned, other species do this as well. In fact, you know, wolves, um, which <laughs> this, is, this is a really kind of uh, ironical observation. Uh, Conrad Lorenz, who I mentioned, had been the person who thought that human aggression in the form of killing members of our own species was unique to our species. He was a great fan of wolves. He studied wolves. And in captivity, he noted that wolves are very unlikely to harm each other in um, uh, spats uh, among members of the same group. What happens is that one of them will roll over and present their neck, much as you see in a dog park nowadays, and, uh, and the other uh, might put their jaws on the neck but will not bite. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it turns out that if you study wolves in the wild, then neighboring packs often go hunting for each other. Mm -hmm. They are in fierce competition. And uh, as much as 50% of the mortality of wolves is due to being killed by other wolves. Wow. Adult mortality. Wow. So it's a really serious business. The chimpanzees and humans uh, fit into a larger pattern of understanding uh, animals in which you don't have an instinct for violence. What you have is an instinct, if you like, to use violence adaptively. And if the right circumstances come up, it'll be adaptive. If the right circumstances don't come up, it won't be. <laughs> so some chimpanzee communities are much more violent than others because of things like the frequency with which a large party of males is likely to meet a, a lone victim. Mm. And that's going to depend on the local ecology. But, you know, so the overall um, answer to the question of what do chimps teach us is that we have to take very seriously the notion that in humans, the tendency to make war is a consequence of a long-term evolutionary adaptation and not just a military ideology or some you know, sort of local patriarchal phenomenon. Um, and of course, you know, a, his, a reading of history, a judicious reading of history <laughs> fits that very easily because war is so commonplace. Mm -hmm.